We're going to be looking in 1 John 5 today, reading a little longer section of verses than we've been recently. And here we go. And Jesus Christ was revealed as God's Son by his baptism in water and by shedding his blood on the cross. Not by water only, but by water and blood. And the Spirit, who is truth, confirms it with this testimony. So we have these three witnesses, the Spirit, the water, and the blood, and all three agree. Since we believe human testimony, surely we can believe the greater testimony that comes from God, and God has testified about His Son. All who believe in the Son of God know in their hearts that this testimony is true. Uh, thank you, Jesus. That's awesome, isn't it? Those who don't believe this are actually calling God a liar because they don't believe what God has testified about His Son. And this is what God has testified. He has given us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have God's Son does not have life. That's verses 6 through 12. Great, great passage of Scripture for us today. You know that you have eternal life by the Holy Spirit, by the witness of God, that you have received salvation through the shed blood of Jesus Christ. You've been baptized in your faith. The witness of the Spirit is real, and it's in our hearts, and we know it's true. See, the people that aren't going to make it to heaven, they're condemning themselves by not believing what God has said. This is exactly what the Word of God is telling us once again. We need people to understand, and the only way they'll understand is for us to live that faith, be true in our faith in every aspect of our life, and share that faith with others. Now, a lot of people are intimidated about sharing their faith, and they're like, I don't know enough, I don't know this. If you have a life-changing relationship with Jesus Christ, because you have given him yourself, and you have received that forgiveness called salvation, then you know enough to share what God has done in you and for you already. Now, we're all going to continue to grow, and our testimony should grow with us. It should grow to be more evident of God all the time in our lives. So let's be a faithful church and share that good news for people around us are dying daily, and they don't know the one they need to know to have eternal life. Let's be a church. Yeah.